Welcome to the betting league guys Week 3 of uh, June 2023 And uh, we are ready We have only 3 games today uh, We have Norway and Scotland Azerbaijan versus Estonia And uh, Montenegro Hungary uh, It's gonna be a fun stream Let's start all right, so we're working as usual. We're working with um, Stofa score. We have the games ready here on the uh, favorites uh, panel, and we're uh, about five minutes away uh, from the starting of um, of this uh, these games in the uh, European Championship qualifiers in the uh, 2024 European Championship qualifiers. Best Murph, thank you for being here, man. How are you today? All right, before we uh, get into the games, let's um, let's see the picks for everyone. All right, so Bessmurf is going to go with um, Norway to win and over 2.5 goals at plus 270. Um, the second bet is going to be also Norway, Scotland over 1.5 goals at halftime plus 230 and his third pick is going to be Norway Scotland over 9.5 corners at plus 120. Schmilios is going to go with uh, Norway Scotland both teams to score and over 2.5 goals. Azerbaijan um, Estonia both teams to score over uh, 2.5 goals and Montenegro Hungary both teams to score over 2.5 goals. So the odds for Schmilios for the Norway and Scotland, the odds are plus 150, Azerbaijan, Estonia plus 187, and Montenegro, Hungary plus 175. Pixel is going to go with Azerbaijan, Estonia, Azerbaijan to win at plus 105, and Norway, Scotland, McTominay to be booked at plus 250, and Norway, Scotland, Holland to have uh, <clears throat> over 2.5 shots on target at plus 240. I will go with Norway versus Scotland um, in to be a draw like uh, the, the game to end in a draw at plus 245 montenegro hungary hungary to win and over 1.5 goals at plus 200 and azerbaijan estonia estonia over 0 0.5 goals uh, first half at plus 105 pixel welcome to the stream man how are you thank you for joining uh today all right um these are our live scores so, um, like I said, we're going to bet on three games, just three games today. Not too many quality games at this time when uh, I'm able to stream. So, apologize, guys, for uh, another stream with a um, limited amount of games. Um, let's go a little bit through the rules, like always. So, uh, at minus 200, you get two points. Between uh, minus 200 and minus 100, you get 2.5 points. At plus 100, you get 3 points. Between plus 100 and plus 200, you get 3.5 points. For over plus 200 odds, you get 4 points. And for over plus 400 odds, you get 6 points. This is for everyone who is interested in um, joining our our league or just understanding the, the main rules. Um, the league table. So far, uh, after 2 weeks in uh, our uh, betting league uh, for the month of June 2023. Lion is first with 10 points, Schmiliots second with 5.5 points. On the third place, Pixel with 4 points and uh, Bessmurf last uh, with 0 points. Uh, we have um, Schmiliots, two times winner of our betting league for the month of April and month of May. Um, we're trying this month to dethrone our leader. <laughs> We'll see how that, uh, that's going to go. All right. So let's uh, add the live scores on the main panel here. And then we're going back to live. I hope you guys are well and good luck to everyone. We're going to need it. <laughs> we have uh, very gutsy bets today. We're minutes away from the kickoff not even minutes like a few probably seconds away all right 
right and azerbaijan estonia already started yep we need to we need to, to hit some bets today because uh last stream it was a dry drive the driest stream we had nobody hit anything last week so And Montenegro, Hungary underway also. And Norway, Scotland. I'm going to try to see if I can watch Norway and Scotland live. There's a website here that I can click on. Let's see a link. big day for norway today they need to win this game otherwise their chances to uh to catch the second place in the qualifiers uh are gonna get uh really really low and scotland has a they're on a winning streak Okay, I think I can watch it also. It's buffering a little bit, but it's doable. Let's check the graph. Nothing yet. Of course, uh, they just started. Azerbaijan, Estonia, Montenegro, Hungary. Already Montenegro getting dominated by Hungary. Stale Solbakken is the head coach of Norway, from what I'm seeing here. Yeah, let's go Norway, I agree. I need a draw though. <laughs> I analyzed a little bit the teams yesterday, so I came to the conclusion this is gonna end in a draw. But we'll see, maybe Norway is gonna pull it off. Yeah, Scotland is a very good team right now. They're on a they're on a not say winning streak but they just beat spain so they're having they're having good morale good confidence right now i remember when we played uh, romania played norway on this stadium we got smacked by uh, holland we lost four nothing and just a year before we tied 2-2 but holland didn't play that game Yeah, man, but we almost lost yesterday. Like it was a, it was an offside. But I can, uh, I can only say that game was uh, played on a, on the worst pitch ever. Like it was flooded with water, so every pass it was just stopped by the water. You know. Yeah, they, you guys won one nothing. I, I checked. Yep. 
Well, it's a win is a win, you know. Uh, Serbia yesterday almost lost uh, at home uh, with uh, Jordan, 3-2. They beat 3-2 Jordan, but uh, the last 10 minutes they were down 2-1, so yeah. So far, Norway is dominating the possession because I'm watching the game also. But nothing, you know, towards the goal, just passing the ball left and right, you know, between the defenders, Odegaard with some touches. Leo Ostegaard from Napoli. Oh... Yeah, I'm trying to watch the game because I'm 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 uh, I'm gonna probably play some bets live, and I really want to see the way they move and everything. So you know, bets with real money, not uh, outside of our betting uh, league. Yeah, so guys, uh, with those uh, yellow cards, uh, shots, and corners, please let me know because uh, I have so many things here to look at. So. I would uh, I would appreciate if you if you let me know if anything hits you know. All right, let's see Azerbaijan Estonia graph. Nothing important here. I need Estonia to score a goal before halftime. I mean, we'll see. It's possible. Montenegro Hungary. Montenegro. Mm, Montenegro is starting to put pressure on. Uh, not put pressure, but have some. Uh, some activity here in the graph so we'll see i need hungary to win and over 1.5 goals and on that one uh pixel i don't have a game this weekend man nope and this weekend next weekend no games come on my my uh my game here is buffering not even training though <laughs> i'm uh, gonna be a little busy we're going um, to the city later on today maybe tomorrow too so no no time to train but definitely monday i'm gonna go back to it so So far, Scotland doesn't... They didn't even get out of their own half. So... Thank you, Pixel. You too, man. I hope you enjoyed the weekend. And, uh, you know, you have fun. Whatever you do. <laughs> Either staying at home or going, going out. Enjoy the weekend, bro. Oh, you're watching the Nacional game. Okay, definitely... Definitely, it's fun to watch Atletico. Ho hopefully, they're gonna they're gonna win. Some rough results lately. Uh, I I saw on uh, Sofa Score lately they're struggling a little bit. All right, no goals yet in uh, all uh, all our games here. Norway, Scotland 0-0, zero, zero. Azerbaijan, Estonia 0-0, zero, zero. Montenegro, uh, Hungary 0-0. Zero, zero. It's uh, not it's not raining and it's a uh, very sunny uh, in Norway. Yeah, we're uh, we're second. We're still second pixel, yeah. 2 points behind Switzerland, but we have um uh, in 2 days uh, on the 19th we have um the game against them in 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 Switzerland, so that's going to be the decider who is winning the group pretty much. And definitely we're going to lose. <laughs> The way we played against Kosovo, so scared and so afraid of every ball. Uh, definitely Switzerland is going to kick our ass. Yep, but when I play with Asane, it's always raining. So I guess the, the game football manager hates me.
enjoy enjoy the weather guys in norway because you never know when it's gonna start raining again and being cold so definitely take advantage get out of the house you know enjoy the sun So far, nothing noticeable here. Azerbaijan, Estonia, Montenegro, Hungary. Hungary is starting to put more and more pressure on uh, Montenegro. <laughs> well, you can get out of the house later on, like uh, probably after 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. Best Murph. When the, the the sun is not that, you know, it's not really, really bright anymore. It's not burning anymore. <laughs> you should, you should see Vegas, man. The, the, the temperatures there, like, it's insane. It's good just because um, it's, it's not humid. But it, it goes like to almost 40 degrees, 40 Celsius. So imagine even sometimes it goes to like 45 so <laughs> yeah pixel me too man i hate it like when it's really 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 hot yeah i can't also with uh with the cold when it's getting really really cold i just milios welcome to the stream man how are you today no worries we'll be here <laughs> your your blood used to is used to the cold. Yep. Totally understand, bro. Uh like in in degrees if I have to cuz like you're more used to uh, to the degrees. Um it's like uh in the summer it gets to 28 20, uh not 28 god. <laughs> uh to like 80 80s in the 80s that's the highest 85 maybe but it doesn't get to 90 or 100 never mm -mm. and in the winter it's cold it's like but it's not like in like for example in chicago gets below zero it's like you know um two three degrees in the winter the lowest yeah so and i live uh, really close to the mountains so So many um, ads and pop ups here just to watch the game. Oh, big chance for Norway, I'm seeing here on the graph. Damn. Who is number 19? Uh, in the casinos is really, really comfortable, man. Is Sorlot? That's Sorlot, right? Uh, it, they have the AC on, so definitely it's... It actually sometimes gets it gets cold you know yeah it's it's awesome man vegas is awesome but what a big chance uh, here for norway all right so i think and no windows in the casino definitely no windows Damn, big chance for Montenegro also. Norway, Scotland, uh, Azerbaijan, Estonia. Estonia putting domination on Azerbaijan. Good. So I need I need that goal before halftime. Yes, definitely. It's a it's a very comfortable way to play poker. 
Bad Smurf. They take care of everything, don't worry. They just want to take your money, so... Whatever extra, they will take care of it. Yeah, Snorlot. That that was a that was a big chance for Norway. I thought he's not he's not starting Snorlot. I wanted to place a bet that he's gonna score a goal, but I thought he's not starting because I checked the, the lineups and he wasn't. Uh, he was just Holland uh, up front. And it's all Nor Norway. 79% them. Uh, I think I'm going to place a bet on my uh, on my account here. Let me see. Let's see. Halves over 0 0.5 goals first half. Uh, what's the dealio with you guys uh, from Norway? Uh, do you um, do you need a visa to get here, or you just uh, need the money? Because that would be great if you just need the money. You know, it's doable for us in Romania. I just you you need visa just to travel. They treat us like an undeveloped country. Estonia with a domination, Montenegro, Hungary. Yeah, Norway, Scotland, definitely. There's a chance we might see a goal. Let's see the stats again. So, only one shot, one big chance missed. Three shots. Seventy-eight percent for Hungary. Ball possession. Man. I'm not sure what bet I should put. Because uh, I'm gonna, I have, um, I'm gonna place four, four or five bets live, but I want to make sure I'm not gonna just waste the money, you know. Just wanna. This one is kind of tight. Montenegro, Hungary. It's either. Yeah, Norway, Scotland. I'm gonna place a bet over 0.5 goals. First half, I think it's gonna they're gonna have a goal. Ten bucks at minus one fifteen. Let's go. And uh Azerbaijan, Estonia, Estonia has more activity on the graph, but the graph is not everything. 
Montenegro, Hungary. It would work. Montenegro, Hungary. Okay, let's let's do Montenegro, Hungary too. First half. Oh, over 0 0.5 goals plus 115 plus 120. Okay. Ten dollars. Boom. All right. Two are enough for now. I'm going to leave uh, two more and maybe or three more for the second half. Let's see if anything is going to hit. But in our betting league, guys, still 0-0 zero, zero on all stadiums. And our picks here. This is a week three of June 2023. No goal so far, Schmilios. But it's coming for sure. Come on, Estonia. Scotland uh, with the first attempt here. <laughs> I don't know if it's a, it's a decent chance or something, but we have uh, the only line on the graph. So my game here is uh, three minutes behind the real time. So this is 20th minute on my uh, uh, on the game that I watch here on the link that I clicked, and uh, on Sofa Score is the 23rd minute. So a little behind. No, he said. Norway and Scotland, or the, the whole day of our betting league is shit so far. Definitely, he didn't say your shit, man. <laughs> Bess Murphy is one of the nicest guys I know, so... Come on with the goals. Jesus. Another dry day, guys? I hope not. Something has to hit. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Shmilius. Otherwise, the stream will be boring. <laughs> I, I hope you had fun, Best Murph, with your friends, man. I hope you had fun. Uh, football manager stream will, will return Monday, guys. Tomorrow there's no stream. You beat Flamengo 1-0 in Libertadores semi-final, but ended up getting destroyed for nothing away. Ah, oh, that sucks, man. Uh, 
That sucks. It's okay. You had a good run uh, last year when we, you got to the final, so... With some minor tweaks, for sure, in the in the near future, you're gonna win the Libertadores, man. Yeah, Flamengo, man. They're the boogeyman for you. Flamengo is the boogeyman. And uh, good things uh, with Maya, Sane. Save uh, on Monday. If you guys uh, are gonna join, I'll show you more stuff. Um, we have our two main central defender uh, probably leaving the club uh, and the total amount of money we're going to get for both is over 20 million so we're getting ready for champions league with that money definitely uh we're going to qualify if uh, and one nothing for estonia boom and the lion with the first hit of the day Three points, but definitely are good points. Please, guys, keep track of um, of your yellow cards or shots. All right. Estonia scored first half one nothing. Yeah, let's see Pixel's picture. Secret. No. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see your pixel. For, oh, okay. Corporación Deportes Indio in the back. Okay, yes. Yes, yes. I see it now. Yep. <laughs> nice. You will, uh, you will do it, man. You will, you will get it at some point. Keep, keep working hard, and you will win the Libertadores pixel. Another, let's see here, how many minutes left? Norway, Scotland, seventy-seven percent ball possession. Only two shots, one on target. And let's see who took a shot on target. They don't say that. Oh, that was Sorlot. Sorry. Yeah, I remember. That was Sorlot. The liquor store next to you is carrying Colombian beer now. They know you're there. That's why. <laughs> yes, Beth Smurf. It's starting to click really well, man. We had like seven wins in a row. And uh, in the league... We have uh, at least six wins in a row, but we got knocked out in the cup because I used the back uh, the, the backups yesterday. Uh, we got knocked out in the quarterfinals, but in the league, we're undefeated and uh, yeah, it's it's really good. Norway, okay, bye bets. Um, Norway, Scotland, over zero point five. Before half, plus 150, okay, plus 150. For Schmilios, so now Schmilios has 4.5 points. I have 13 points because I won the Estonia, and I should have placed a bet on Estonia, man, but... I did uh, Norway and Montenegro, Norway, Scotland, Montenegro, Hungary. <laughs> with real money.
Yeah. Hungary is um, taking their time here with Montenegro. I know they're better. And they they should win. No shots on target so far for, for, for Hungary. Oh yeah, I didn't update the goal. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Best Murph. Totally forgot about that. See, that's why we have Best Murph here. He's always on point, man. Oh, definitely. I need my I need my friends here with me. Otherwise, I couldn't do it, man. <clears throat> ah, what a nice day in Norway and no goals, man. Come on. It's a great day to play football. Look at that pitch. Looks amazing. Come on, Holland. I need at least one of my bets to hit the real, uh, with real money. Uh, Montenegro, Hungary, probably no chance to hit. Really? They were not fan of the condition of the pitch? It looks amazing. Like I mean, I don't know, I didn't step on it, but from the TV, you can see it's... It looks perfect, like in England. What else do you want? Oh, the guards. Come on. My, uh... My stream is delayed here, so pretty sure you guys already saw that shot attempt. So far, I'm seeing Norway trying to trying to um, you know be more offensive, but they still they have the possession, but they do nothing with the ball, nothing important. They had that sorlo chance, but that's it. I, w I expected more uh, more domination from Norway. Yeah, probably that's why. Yeah. They look a little scared though. Norway. I mean, against Romania, they just trashed us. Like every chance was close to being a goal, and with, with Scotland, they just they're. Kind of afraid i don't know they're afraid to take shots or oh okay i don't know it's just it's just me maybe maybe just uh, the first half they're trying to take it easy because scotland is dangerous on a counter attack definitely they can score Ten minutes left from 
less than 10 minutes left from the first half. We have only one goal scored in Azerbaijan versus Estonia. Yes, if they lose, it's over. I agree because I checked the league standings. So they need, they need today. They need to win. Definitely, they need to win because it's hard to beat Scotland away. So they need to win this game at home. Which stadium is this? Uh, which city? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yet. Oslo. Ulevar Oslo. Who is playing on this stadium? Man, this uh this was dangerous. So dangerous. Seven to four shots, only one on target in Hungary versus Montenegro. Two brand players on the bench. Okay, nice. Oh, so this is the national team stadium. Okay. I know. He's uh when he plays for the national team he, he doesn't play the same you know, he's not the same because he doesn't have the probably the same support like uh with City, you know. Man, I need this goal. Come on. I need goal in Montenegro, Hungary and Norway, Scotland for my live bets. Come on, man. Zero shots on target, yep. Six touches on the ball. Three corners. So you need another you need another seven corners, best Murph. To win your bet. I don't see any goal scored before halftime in any of these two games.
Ah, don't don't lose hope, Shmilios. You never know. Something might you know might hit today when you least ex expect it. You know. Don't lose hope, man. My fans are so happy because the Lion is very close to the winning month of June. The first title in our betting history. We're leading the league, guys. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Norway. So if Norway ties with Scotland, or Scotland, not Scotland, um, I'm gonna win my bet. Uh, there's a big chance for that. There's a huge chance for McTominay to get get a yellow, because they are defending. They they're gonna defend for the whole game. At some point, somebody's gonna be booked in the middle there. You're well known, Bessmer, for coming back very, very strong in the end, at the end of the month, so don't lose hope, man. You never know, maybe today is the day. Next month you go safe. <laughs> I know, I just need a goal for my live bets too, because I'm losing $20 here. <laughs> Nothing is hitting, man. What's your first bet? Let's see. Over 1.5 goals halftime, yeah. Yep. Not enough time for that to hit. I didn't ex I didn't expect Norway and Scotland the way they started the game I didn't expect this uh, would not have a goal in the first half and also Montenegro Hungary with a huge chance here for Montenegro and the domination uh, of possession for Hungary look at the shots too like 12 shots it's like the game is alive and still no goals But, what can you do, man? Only one minute additional time in Holland, in Holland, in Hungary, in Montenegro, and here, one minute also. Boo!
and halftime Norway Scotland and we're waiting for Montenegro Hungary here yep yeah man I lost my 10 bucks and I'm losing 20 bucks now Montenegro Hungary Yep, Bixo still has a fighting chance. And twenty dollars down the drain. God. Halftime guys on all stadiums. Just one goal. Estonia one nothing at Azerbaijan. Norway, Scotland zero zero. Montenegro Hungary zero zero. Okay, best Murph. We'll be here, man. We have 15 minutes break. But damn. It's not a good day to bet on these games. Lost both. Let's see here. Uh, I played futsal, but I'm not good. I'm not good, man, because I'm tall and slow. And when you play futsal, you need to be very quick and to run a lot. And yeah, that's not my cup of tea. <laughs> but yeah, you impl improve uh, dribbling and ball control when you play futsal. Definitely. Because the, the field is smaller. You have uh, tighter spaces, you know. Yeah, exactly. That's why you don't see too many tall players uh, playing um, futsal. And also you have to think really, really quick uh, when you play futsal. From what we're seeing here, Montenegro Hungary, for example, this can this game can go either way. Montenegro was more offensive, but also Hungary had they hit the woodwork one time. So yeah. You never know. And Scotland and, uh, and Norway. Scotland with the possession, but I think Scotland... I don't think they're going to lose this game today. There's so much pressure on Norway. So yeah. We're going back to the picks. Let's see. 8 goal second half. <laughs> yeah man, I, I'm so... I don't know, I'm so surprised we don't see goals today. Like, especially Norway and Scotland. I was expecting Norway to just go to town on Scotland today. But they're really, really scared. They play like a scared team.
pixel let's see here azerbaijan to win this is kind of hard to hit right now because estonia is winning uh mctominay to be booked that's probably you know gonna happen who knows but there's a big chance it's gonna happen and holland over 2.5 shots on target mm. we'll see we'll see Best Smurf, Norway to win over 2.5 goals like Schmilios, both and Schmilios, both teams to score and over 2.5 goals. So who knows, guys? Maybe second half is gonna be different. Maybe they're gonna be more lively. The players will take more risks, and then you know some player will make mistakes, and then let's hope second half is our half. Yes. <laughs> We just need uh, a little luck because last week, God, like out of 14 bets on one single game, on one single game, everyone placed bets on only one game and nobody hit anything. Like you really have to be, you, you have to be really bad to place 14 bets on one game and you don't hit any <laughs> yeah man i should have placed a bet on azerbaijan estonia i just lost 20 bucks on norway scotland montenegro hungary i still have I still have three bets left, but now uh, the confidence is low, if you know what I mean. I need to find the right bet right now. No more throwing money around. Now I need to hit one. Like, I really, when I see the graph going crazy, maybe that time I'm just gonna. And also, if, you know, the, the odds are gonna be in my favor. <laughs> we are just that bad lion it's because we all go for a lot of goals all the time and if the game is dry of course we all lose yeah makes sense we're going for the odds for the crazy odds because we want to get points in the league standing so but usually the safer bets are the ones that that hit you know but those are those are gonna bring you less points you know But on the long run, if you think about it, only the safer ones, the like plus 100, like plus 120, those are gonna hit more than the plus 240, plus 250, you know. So we got 45 minutes left to, to make a difference today. And I also, before I place my bets, guys, I just go on SofaScore and just analyze pretty much their last five games. I look at the goal scored in the last five games. I look at the lineups in the last five games, the formation they play in the last five games. And then I take my, uh, my pick, you know. This is what I do. But it's probably not the best way to just, you know, go for the money line for the right result. You know, like I did a draw or like any team to win. The, the safer ones are when you go just like over and under, you know. You're safer that way. So, come on, come on, Norway. 70% ball possession. Three total shots to one. One shot on target. Blocked shots, one and one. Big chances, one for Norway, zero for Scotland. 
let's see the passes let's analyze here a little bit 343 passes to 141 so over 200 more passes for norway yeah a draw is awesome for me like if if this is gonna hit i'm gonna kill the league for uh for this month because this is four points so i already have right now uh 13 points or 13.5 points so with another four points it's gonna be 17.5 and yeah we have one more stream this month but that's a big if you know 87 percent accurate passes for norway and 81 for scotland long balls both teams 48 percent so they're trying a direct type of football here both of the teams crosses 57 percent for norway 38 percent for scotland because they have tall players so that's why they go for the crosses 57 percent in first half four attempts out of seven dribbles scotland is trying to dribble more than norway possession lost duels won scotland better in the air seven and seven tackles five and four right here pixel tackles five and four you get that yellow card man for mctominay Welcome back, Best Murf. So yeah. Norway need they need to take a chance. They need to risk, man. And Scotland is ready to take advantage of that. To hit on a counter. This is what I'm seeing second half. We're gonna see Scotland defend and then they have fast players up front. Let's see a little bit the lineups though. McGinn from Villa. This guy is fast. I don't know, Ryan Christie. And Lyndon Dykes. I'm not a fan of uh, Lyndon Dykes. It's nothing special. He really needs like 10,000 chances to score a goal. He's playing for QPR. I've seen some highlights with him. Not a great striker. That's all I can say. Andrew Robertson, 7.1. Wow, they play with Sorlot on the on the right. Really, I don't think this is the right formation. I don't think this is exactly how Norway is playing. I think they play four four two. This is not what they play. And Ola Solbakken is the son of the coach Solbakken, or is just they have the same name. Ola Solbach on Roma. I know he plays for Roma, right? <sighs> Let's see. Some other results. Montenegro Hunger 0 0. Botswana, Libya 1 0. If you guys care. Uzbekistan, Tajikistan 2 1. 73rd minute. And nothing else. Ecuador, Bolivia. Yeah. Um, 
maybe I'm gonna place a bet on that. Who knows? <laughs> Depending how this uh, second half is gonna go, because I'm gonna place more bets, like two or three. Depend how this is gonna go. If not, I'm gonna try to get my money back on uh, <laughs> Ecuador, Bolivia, you know? Who knows? All right, so Montenegro, Hungary on the way with the second half. I don't know what do you guys think about Norway, Scotland so far, if you watched the game. Don't you agree? Norway is playing a little scared and they should take more risk right now. Oh, you're not watching Pixel? Okay. Okay, so all... All games are on with the second half. Okay, I see, Pixel. Yes, please, keep track of those. It's uh, gonna be easier for me to... to do everything here. So yeah, we're gonna be back with the um, FM stream on Monday, guys. I'm gonna post um, the time I will start the stream uh, tomorrow night. Most likely it's gonna be around 8, 8 a.m. my time. So for you in, uh, in uh, Europe, it's gonna be 3 p.m. in the afternoon. big day for Asane because we're about to receive uh, a record of uh, over 20 million dollars for two players and then we can go shopping and uh, we're one month away from a uh, UEFA Champions League qualifier so we have to move quickly in the transfer market we're gonna do a lot of scouting it's gonna be fun we need to find good good Nor Norwegian um, players Ideally, will be Wonder Kids, but you know that's that's always always tough because they still don't want to sign with us. They it's still it's still tough to convince Wonder Kids to sign for us due to our poor reputation in the game. Yeah, it's okay, Best Murph. Whenever you guys can, I'm just to update you, updating you with uh, with uh, whatever is happening so far in my FM save. Uh -huh. The same, the same uh, with Romania, Milios. I very, very rarely, like I accidentally actually uh, watched the game yesterday because I was on, uh, I was on my betting spree. So I was like, ah, let me place a bet on Romania too. So I watched, I watched the game. All right, 50th minute, Montenegro, Hungary, 0-0, zero, zero. Montenegro has more of the ball in the beginning of the second half. Actually, I'm wrong, 81% second half for Hungary, but on the graph, we're seeing more green for Montenegro. All right, let's watch a little bit from Norway now. So, I'm three minutes behind here. Whatever I watch, you guys already watched. So,
What channel are you watching the uh, no the Norway game, guys? Uh oh. First shot on target, second half for Norway, but no juice. Number 17. That's Solbakken. Yep. Norwegian channel. Okay. I'm just curious, you know. And Scotland with some activity on the graph. Somebody's going to have to draw first blood here. Norge. Yes. Scotland. 48 minutes on my live stream. Hey Dan, how are you man? Welcome to the stream. First shot on target for Scotland. Let's see Azerbaijan, Estonia. Still one nothing for Estonia in a 52nd minute. I need Hungary to win and over 1.5 goals, so this is probably not gonna happen dry game here in Montenegro Decent header here from uh, Odegaard's free kick, but I think it was an offside. Ostigard, I think. Fifty-seven percent to forty-three. Second half. Total shots. Both teams, they had one shot on target. So Scotland is uh, trying to get more of the ball, second half.
So 77% ball possession, second half, Azerbaijan, Estonia. You need a goal here as soon as possible, Pixel. Yeah. And it came at the right time for me in the first half. Second half. Oh my god, 90% ball possession for Hungary second half. Hmm. Norway. Second half with 70% ball possession. Damn, no goals, dude. Unbelievable. I know. Just a little hope, man. We have no hope here. Did you play some uh, real money bets, Milios? I know you did. I don't know why I'm even asking. <laughs> All three. <laughs> Me too. I'm, I'm trying to decide right now. I have three left in the pocket. I'm trying to decide which... Which bets I'm gonna place? I already lost 20 bucks today. It's so tempting to do a martingale right now just to get get back whatever I lost, but that's so so freaking risky, man. <laughs> Ninety percent ball possession for Hungary. Ah, should I go with uh, Hungary to score a goal? Just a safe one, Hungary to score a goal today. Because look at this, ninety percent, and it's already the sixtieth minute. It's not like two minutes uh, in the second half. So fifteen minutes already, and still Hungary with ninety percent ball possession. So. All I know, when you have the ball all the time, at some point, you're gonna score. And look at the graph too. Um, let's see, Ishmilios. Maybe we can uh, team up here. Maybe we can place the same bet. Let me know what you think. You're gonna wait until the 75th minute? Okay, fix so. Oh yeah, I forgot, we can buy a bet. Oh, yes. Yeah, I know, Shmilios. But I'm just uh, saying, like, if you place, a, you know, your own bets with real money, maybe we can team up. We can place the same bet, you know. Two brains. Better than only one. <laughs> Norway penalty, okay. All right. Finally, some action. Oh, it's okay, Bessmurf. 
Like I said, don't lose hope. You never know. Something might hit big. Yeah, Haaland. Definitely Haaland would take it. And this is not good for me now. Because I need Scotland to, to score. To get a tie. Yeah, but Haaland definitely is going to take it. And one nothing Norway. Golazzo. Alright, so let's update the scores really quick. It's good for for Norway because now they have a chance to qualify, you know, if they win this game. If Norway wins, I get pissed. I wanted to play draw half time and Norway full time. 1-1 <laughs> one, one, Azerbaijan. Okay. Let's update that. And this is good for Pixel now. Yes, that's good. That's good. Pixel. Need some competition, man. <laughs> Just joking. I'm just happy to be for the first time first in the league, so I'm uh, I'm going to enjoy it until somebody's going to knock me down. So all right. Let me play some bets now. Okay, Montenegro, Hungary. Hungary with a domination. And Haaland needs another shot or another two shots, Pixel, for you to win the bet, right? Because it's over 2.5, right? Okay. I'm going to go with over 0 0.5 goals, Montenegro, Hungary. Or I can do Azerbaijan, Estonia over one over two, over two point five. Let's see game lines over two point five minus one forty five because I didn't place a bet on this game yet. Still plenty of time, yep.
Uh, we're disconnected, I think. God. No internet again. The worst time. We're gonna have to monitor these games the way we can. Sorry about that, guys. Try to reconnect, let's see how fast this time is gonna go.
still the connection is not back okay i think we are reconnecting let's see trying it's trying to reconnect but god it takes forever we didn't have this uh, issue in a while but here we go again All right, we have 15 minutes left. Come on, internet. I need to reconnect. I think we're back. I think we're back. Yep. Let's see. Let's do a refresh really quick. Yes, we're back. Apologize again, guys, for this, but... Out of my hands again. Alright, we have 13 minutes left. 
13 minutes left and still same scores 1 nothing for Norway and 1-1 one, one, Azerbaijan Estonia Montenegro Hungary is still 0-0 zero, zero. We're back now, officially. Let's use the same music. Let's check the the graph a little bit. Fifty three percent ball possession. Second half, Scotland definitely will try to to score a goal and not leave empty hand, empty handed the uh, the game. Azerbaijan Estonia quiet end of the game here the 1-1 one, one. and Montenegro Hungary Hungary is um, dominating but nothing special here too 70 no 84 percent ball possession and somehow no goal Yeah, Shmilia, sorry, man. It's out of my hands. As as a, you already know, a stupid internet. We have 10 minutes left, guys. What's the uh, yellow car situation? Let's see, Norway, Scotland. Kieran Tierney, Porteous, Jack Hendry, and McGinn. The shots on target. Let's see. Holland one. Thank you, Best Murph. Hopefully, we can end the stream with no disruptions, you know. Estonia is looking for the win, so this is really interesting for Pixel. Because, uh, not Estonia, uh, Azerbaijan is looking for a win. They're playing at home in Estonia. Uh, probably they're defending right now. Second half, they didn't do anything based on what we see on the graph. It's always better to watch the game, but yeah. Norway and Scotland is way more important important and entertaining
this is a losing bet for me even if a hungry wins i need two gold here so. and norway scotland yeah it's a dry day guys dry day for everyone And now Scotland putting some pressure. Yeah, I know. Me too. Me too, best Murph. One more goal in Azerbaijan. I did all my uh, last three bets. I placed them while we were disconnected. One more goal in Norway, Scotland. One more goal in Azerbaijan, Estonia. And one goal in Montenegro, Hungary. And probably losing 50 today. Nothing hits, man. Jesus. Alan stopped. Oh snap. So Pixel lost his bet. Yep. No late goals. Are you kidding me? There's no late goals, nothing. Azerbaijan, Estonia. Come on, one at least. Man. This is ridiculous. Yep, all my bets, five bets. I'm probably gonna lose the real money bets. Probably more, most likely, not probably. It's getting there like a few more minutes. This is important for Pixel here, if Azerbaijan wins. He's gonna get um, three points. But 1-1 one, one Scotland, damn. Okay. Now there's one more goal that you need, uh, Milios.
Let me update the score really quick. Wow. I feel bad for, for Norway though. I really do. And this is good for me because with a draw... If it's gonna stay like this... It's over guys for this month. Montenegro, Hungary. Yes, then we are watching the game and oh, oh god really dykes oh snap because i'm not watching the game actually right now that uh, stream of course is uh is down so i'm just uh back on just on sofa score but you guys are watching it Linden Dykes. I mean, 87th minute. What a painful way, man. And why did the... Uh, and 2-1, Jesus. And now it's over. And now good for Schmilios. Boom. Schmilios is back. I was hoping... I was hoping for a tie, but nope. <laughs> Schmilios is back, boys. 2-1 for Scotland, man. God. Wow. It ain't over till it's over. Yeah, at least one. This is good for you. Um, if, if Pixel wins if azerbaijan wins pixel wins his bet and also and also uh for Schmilius, one more goal here and he wins two bets today but wow two goals in in two minutes what the hell man they subbed holland why they subbed holland Yeah, they're not a bad team. Hmm. Dyke was the assister. Oh, okay, so he didn't score. Okay. He just assisted it. Okay. Few more minutes, guys. Few more minutes. Man, I was so close to killing the league this month. But Scotland scored a second. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this uh, too, Bessmer. <laughs> Uh, it was just a bad game. 0-0. Zero, zero. Then the pitch was full of water, so that's why no goals. Six minutes overtime. Norway, okay. Maybe they can snatch a draw. But I think it's kind of late, though. Man, two goals in, in two minutes for Scotland, though. Azerbaijan, Estonia. Estonia with the domination. Four minutes in Azerbaijan, Estonia. Four minutes extra time.
you love more the um, Conmebol qualifiers pixel. Yeah. I like the clubs, man. The club competitions more. I don't know. It's more entertaining to me. We're very close to the end, guys. So I lost Montenegro, Hungary. And very close to losing Norway, Scotland, too. I really feel bad for Norway, though. Like with this loss, it's over. Feel bad for Holland, because what a great player to miss uh, the big tournaments, national tournaments, you know, the World Cup, the Euros, and they don't have a bad team. This is this is even more annoying because Norway doesn't have a bad team. One minute and a half. Final time. Azerbaijan, Estonia, 1-1. One, one. Pixel lost his bet. His second bet. And let's see. McTominay, though. Nope. Is he still in? Yeah, he's still in. You need a yellow card. Colombia in Chicago. Really? You have you're gonna travel to Chicago, Pixel. <laughs> zero zero Montenegro Hungary. Dry, very dry day. God. And almost over Norway, Scotland. Guys, uh, just hang on for like a few more minutes. I'm going to update the league standings and we can all end it here. Great comeback for Schmilios here with this uh, winning bet. He won 3.5 points and he's still in it to win the league for the month of June. It's going to be entertaining. The last stream next week is going to be really, really entertaining. And full-time Norway, Scotland, 1-2. All right, guys. I'm going to update the league standing and uh, we'll end it. So just give me a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, it's possible because today I just won one, so don't worry, Shmilius. But you need uh, you need a, a great a great uh, last last stream for for June. Just one second. All right, guys. So the league table after week three, month of June, FM Line first with thirteen points, Milios second with eight points, Pixel third with four points, and Best Murph still last with zero points. Uh, I really appreciate you guys making it today for the betting league stream it was another dry day definitely i apologize guys for the internet disruption again out of my hands i don't know uh, when we're gonna have a full stream without issues but what can you do uh enjoy the rest of the weekend guys and um i will see you all on monday if you have time to join uh my fm save uh, stream with uh, asane until then take care and uh, i'll see you all bye bye